Oh, hey guys. Today I'm just going to make a quick video on uh, an issue that one of my clients actually had. He had uh, a gaming rig here that was, uh, and the model number of this motherboard here for the Asus is the Asus uh, TUF Gaming X570 plus the Wi Fi. Um, he didn't tell me that he was actually having the uh, the one long beep and the four short beats until I actually got it to my place. So once I heard that noise, you know, uh, but the funny thing is when you actually look at this here, I'm, I'm giving you the, act, the exact model here. If you look at this motherboard, um, if you look carefully, just follow my cursor here. When I was actually um, um, zooming into the, uh, looking at the LED, because if you look here, I'll, I'll maximize it here. And if you look at it here, actually, yeah, it's not really clear. This is actually one of the pictures from Asus's website. But if you look at it here, um, these LEDs will actually tell you what the issue is. But the funny thing is it was the second one from the top that kept lighting up. And it was giving me like a VGA error, which I know you can't see here, but the second from the top is a VGA. And and other ones, the other LEDs there will actually give you, you know, uh, I'll tell you what's wrong with it. But the thing is, it wasn't the actual graphics card that was the issue. Because with the one long beep to four short beeps, I pulled out his uh, his gaming card that was, uh, was slotted into here. Um, and the first PCIe uh, slot and I pulled that off plugged in the uh, my TV to his uh, HDMI that was built in uh, with with his onboard video card and that still didn't post it still gave me the same error you know so um, you know I you know a, a lot of people were th saying that you know on, on the Asus forums that it could be uh, the the CPU or the motherboard itself as being the issue and you know I I, you know, I wasn't really sure exactly what it was. So the next thing for me to do was that his original orientation that he actually had the RAM in was in uh, DIMMs 2 and 4, these light gray ones. i uh, sorry, the dark gray ones here. So what I did was I actually moved over his two sticks of RAM into DIMMs 1 in the black one here and then DIMM 3 because that, that's how they have to be orientated. So when I put them in DIMMs 1 and 3, it posted perfectly fine. So, um... Yeah, and basically that is the resolution to the the one long beep and the four short beeps. So if you're getting that, let's say if you you actually had your uh, you know your dim slots in one and three as opposed to what he had on two and four, um, just try swapping out the memory sticks and putting them into you know the uh, the the opposite the other two slots. So let's say if you have yours in one and three, put yours in two and four. So if you actually have yours in two and four, like what Adam did, just put them in one and three. You know, um, you can either just put one stick of RAM in there. It'll still boot if, 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 uh, if you know, if, uh, if your RAM is good. It doesn't have to be in one and three. Um, you know, you can still uh, get the system to boot just, just having one module in, in DIMMs one. You know, so that doesn't matter. But he actually had two, uh, two uh, modules, so I put them in one and three. And it posted perfectly fine. Um, you know, so, I mean, uh, you know, obviously for some reason, that you know, these two slots actually went at the same time because I actually tried each one module in in two N and then in four and it still wouldn't post until I actually put the uh, both of his modules in one and, and three. So, you know, I, I hope that helps you guys because, uh, you know, it, it took me about a couple of minutes to figure it out. It wasn't really hard because I was hoping that it wasn't his processor and stuff. And he says, you know, he never encountered any CPU fans going at a higher throttle point. So then I, I knew it probably wasn't the, the processor. And when I look at that, the capacitors here in these areas here, as you can see here, um, these markers here and stuff, um, I didn't notice any weird black sludge that was cracked or opening up and stuff. Because a lot of times when we, uh, when my board specialist has to fix them, a lot of times they'll actually, that's one of the first things they'll actually do to check to see if the boards uh, actually are, are if that has an opening. It's like usually opens up in a little plus shape and then it kind of raises up a little bit and then you'll see a, a light, light black sludge. And that alone sometimes could just make your board go bad. So just keep that in mind too. Just inspect your board for the capacitors and stuff to see if they're opening up with a, with a, with a black liquid. And if not, then your board should be fine and you know i mean as for the the one long beep and the, the four short beep you know it's the the one that I actually had with adam system it was relating with uh, he had two bad dim slots which was uh two and four that was bad so once i put his on one and three it was perfectly fine so i hope that helps you guys out you know um and the model again is the asus the x570 dash plus the wi-fi so um but i'm pretty sure that if you're having the same one long beep and four short beeps and other similar asus uh you know, uh, gaming motherboards, you know, it, it, you should be able to pinpoint or target the same areas and just try, you know, one, one, you know, uh, RAM module in, 
one and three or two and four just to go from there. You know, and I hope that helps. And you guys have a, a you know, a, a good day. And, you know, if, if, if you find that this video helps you guys out, just, just uh, you know, make a comment or subscribe and, uh, and take care. Cheers.